John Hawks. Yes. It's always amazing to me when uh, someone who's been acting as long as you have and you come to a, a point where you're kind of in a, a mid midpoint in your life mm-hmm. and, and work. Are you saying I'm old? No, okay. no, I'm right there with you. Because you we're, can. We're in the same so canoe. Fine. I am. We're in the same canoe. <laughs> uh, and you're suddenly discovered. Yeah. And you got an Oscar nomination last year nice. and you... It's uh, John Hawks, I love him, and your water cooler talk now. And it's always so interesting because you've been doing this, obviously, for a long time. Mm-hmm. And then a part like this one, Surrogate, comes along. Yeah, well, you know, I think Groucho Marx said all it takes is that first 50 good breaks and you're on yeah. your way. So I feel like I'm about 44, 45. Right. I'm getting there. I'm very you close. are getting Another there. Another couple, and boom, I'm in. Did you ever want to not do it? Did you ever just be like, ah? Uh, not be an actor? Yes. No, no. I, I've always loved doing it. I, you know, got lucky to uh, to be able to make some money at it. But uh, the first 15, 20 years of, of acting, I, I, I made almost no money. The first 10 years, li- literally did it for free. And in this particular story you tell, you play a real-life character of, of, based on, I guess, one. I didn't realize mm-hmm. that until obviously the end of the mil- a movie. They pay tribute to him, Mark O'Brien. But mm-hmm. you, um, your character has polio from a very young age, and you are absolutely paralyzed except, right, all yes. you can do is barely turn your head. Sure. Technically, he's not uh, literally paralyzed, but his muscles are atrophied such that he can't right. really use them. He has sensation. Right. But he's unable to really move anything but his head 90 degrees. Wow. Yes. Mm-hmm. And how challenging was that physically to, to do that? It was, uh, it was a challenge on so, uh, several levels. You know, how do you somehow make a character uh, physically interesting uh, over that mm-hmm. much uh, over the period of a film with with so little movement? Kind of just had to put that out of my head and trust that uh, the material was good. And William H Macy, uh, Helen Hunt, both so fantastic, mm-hmm. and and the whole cast really, and and Ben Lewin, a wonderful director. So. Those kind of things kind of went out the window, and it was mainly just trying to figure out what, what the scene needed, what the story needed, and and uh, we just we just you know, found our way. It's mind blowing what you're uh, able to do thanks. with your eyes, and I would, I mean, I'm curious because I think in in a way as an actor being so limited, is would almost be freeing. The stuff, the passage on the gurney to and from, to mm-hmm. and from was fantastic. Yeah, there was one late in the film that just killed me. I think it was after uh, his uh, a real disappointment for Mark and. Uh, and Moon uh, is, is is pushing uh, me along there, and uh, yeah, she, uh, yeah, she's terrific in the film as well, and and it's just a beautiful shot. Sometimes the most interesting moments in a movie to me uh, don't have dialogue. Uh, mm-hmm. I think if I, if I think of the images of a film that have moved me a lot of times, it's a gesture, a look, a, a character listening. But this is just her, uh, you know, doing her job, and uh, and and my character. Uh, uh, dealing with it. The story seems to be told really well in that little in that mm-hmm. little moment. That's nice when a scene's mm-hmm. 15 seconds long without dialogue, and it says a lot more right. than words. Well, this this movie series definitely has legs, and I can't wait to see how once audiences get to see it yeah, outside who knows? I mean, of this little quaint mountain town. It's true. It's just one screening, so uh, who who knows what people will think? But I will I will take what what happened today uh, to the grave with me. It was a beautiful uh, afternoon and, and uh, such a wonderful response to the screening. And but it's great to see you. <laughs> and um, uh, just thanks for um, for just giving great performances. Oh, after. thank Always you. Always so interesting to watch on screen.